You're ready. Uh, I thought we were a half step slow tonight. Maybe it was just Michigan. I thought Michigan was terrific. They're really hard to guard. You know, low post, if you don't double them, they score on you. If you double them, they can shoot threes. They shot the ball terrific tonight. They moved the ball great. Um, and then we were just a little off. I mean, first play of the game, we have a layup. We airball it. Uh, we missed a bunch of layups. Had a backdoor to Wiggs, you know, after a timeout, we fumble it. He's wide open. It's just one of those nights. And uh, and then the free throw shooting didn't really give us a chance. I think if we could have shot right before half, we missed a wide open three and two front end and one and ones. It should have been an eight, nine, ten point game at halftime. And then it's you know, still doable, but we didn't finish the half. Didn't start the game, but they were terrific. Give, give them credit. Uh, they were dialed in and uh, pressured us out of everything. And uh, we were we were tough enough to fight through that and, you know, take what the defense gives you. So it's frustrating night, but uh, you got to give them a lot of credit. They're really, really good. Start off tonight with Daniel Oyafusi from the Baltimore Sun. Hey, Mark, uh, you, you talked about early on about just how difficult they are to guard. I mean, I know Hunter had a career night on you guys two weeks ago. I mean, uh, what, what was going on in terms of the rotations? It seems like a lot of times Michigan was getting some, some really uh, wide open looks uh, on those three pointers. Yeah, I thought I thought they made some tough ones early. I thought our rotations were good, and then we, we, we did some stuff um, that I haven't seen before. And our rotations and our communications weren't great. And one time we're back to zone, and 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 then get it lined up, and they hit a three. And another time we come down, and you know we call timeouts, and I'm just like, I'm at a loss, really. So um, just we weren't ourselves tonight, and they were terrific. And that's not a really good recipe for success. Emily Giambalva, Washington Post. Hey, Mark. Um, kind of on the same topic, how much does their offensive versatility just make it um, really hard to guard when, when you're able to contain Hunter, but but then there are all these other guys who can who can score? Well, when they shoot it like that, you know, they didn't shoot it like that on Saturday, but they shot it like that today. So, yeah, it's tough. It's really tough. And the Wagner kid's just getting better and better every game, and um, he's terrific. And they played a good pace. They share the ball, extremely unselfish. And, um, you know, and they had size advantage across the board, except, at, you know, point guard. And um, they're hard. They're hard to guard. And the thing that makes them even more special is how well they guard defensively and how locked in they're into their game plan defensively, how quickly they adjust defensively, too. Um, they made some quick adjustments uh, out there. But, uh they were really good. They, you know, they've beaten the heck out of everybody in this building almost. And um, I just wish we would have shot a little better, made a few more layups, made a few more open threes and made our free throws. I think we could have competed a little bit more and maybe then our defense would have been a, a little bit better, but give up a lot of size. We, you know, we can't score in the big lineup. We go small lineup. We can get open shots. We weren't making them, but we were getting open shots. Then we couldn't guard on the other end. So it's a product of who we are right now, unfortunately, and um, but we just got to keep plugging. Remember who we were, you know, last Sunday, and um, and try to get that formula back and and compete a little bit better. Time for a couple more. Uh, Lila Bromberg, Tessudo Times. Hey, Coach. Um, you mentioned just how tough um, Michigan was, you know, guarding you guys, especially in those opening minutes. There, it seems like you guys were kind of struggling to get shots off with the, you know, shot clock running down, a lot of turnovers. Just um, what were they kind of showing you guys that was making it so hard um, early on there? Yeah, it's a combination of things. One, we got to lay up the first play of the game and we shoot it clear with a rim. And then, um, you know, if they're going to deny you, you got to go back door. It's, it's not that hard of a game. And so if you can't come get the ball and you're being denied, then you got to go back to our space and we got five out. We should be able to do that. And after a timeout, we draw it up, give Wiggs a wide open when he fumbles it out of bounds. So they got to be able to do that on their own. But you know, their whole deal was to pressure us. And second half, we did a better job. We got to the double bonus. We got in the paint more. You just can't make shots. We could make layups. But uh, we were a little bit better in the second half. But, you know, with all that said, we just make a couple open ones and make our free throws. We're still in the game at halftime for as bad as it went. So, but their defense was terrific. I thought their, um, you know, I thought their adjustments defensively were good. And our guys just didn't compete against their pressure. And we've been competing, but first half, we didn't compete against our pressure the way we need to. Last question tonight, Jacob Steinberg, WMUC. 
Hey, Coach, you talked about Michigan's offensive versatility, but just how tough does it make them to guard when not only can they convert when they're playing with pace offensively, but also when they're in their methodical offensive sets as well? It seemed like they were converting with both pace tonight and also uh, slowly on offense as well. Yeah, they, they're they really good in the half court. You know, they got guys that know the offense and are running it and you know, they're good on the break. Um, you know, we, we gave up a little bit too many in transition. We've been getting better with that, but uh, now they're really good guys. I, I, they're good enough to win the whole thing, you know, whether they will or not, we'll see. But, you know, I think they got three or four pros, NBA guys out there and, you know, I think they can win the whole thing. Now, whether they're going to be hot at the right time and guys are going to make shots and all that kind of stuff, but they got all the pieces and they got, they can go big, they can go small, they can do whatever they want. Guys are bought into their roles. So uh, it could be a special year for them if, if they get hot at the right time, you know, so they're really good. Got to give them credit. All right, coach. Thanks. Appreciate your time.